The Redmi K30 Ultra and Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra were both announced on the same day to celebrate Xiaomi's 10th year anniversary. Though very impressive phones, one is a lot cheaper than the other one for very good reason. The Redmi comes paired with the Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset run on 7 nanometer technology, while the Xiaomi comes paired with the latest and greatest Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processing chip. We have 6 gigs of RAM on the Redmi and 8 on the Xiaomi. We also get UFS 3.1 storage on the Xiaomi as opposed to UFS 2.1 on the Redmi. They both have 120 Hz AMOLED displays and we're going to leave animations on on both devices. Round 1 will be all about boot, fingerprint and face unlock. Round 2 will be all about initial opening app speed and round 3 will be all about RAM management. We're using my fingers over here so to keep things accurate we're going to pop GoPro footage at the bottom left hand corner. This is Tech Neck and without further ado let's go. We're going to start here with a simple boot in round one to see which one can power up its device faster and the point gets allocated to the Mi 10 Ultra. Do it in 19 seconds as opposed to 28 seconds on the K30 Ultra. Going into the phone to refresh the app icons, it was too close to call. And now testing a very similar optical reader underneath both displays on both the Xiaomi devices over here. It was too close to call the first time around, too close to call the second time around. And going into it the third time around, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra was slightly faster there, getting one win and two draws, getting at its second point in round one. Testing the facial recognition of your 2D face unlock on both devices, we do have a pop-up mechanism on the K30 Ultra, so it is known to be slower, but I put my face in at the exact same time of both devices, and the Mi 10 Ultra is faster every single time over here, getting at its third and final point in round one. Going into round two, we're making sure we're hooked up to the same Wi-Fi network, making sure we're up to the max brightness, and there are no recent apps in the background. We're going to go ahead and start with our first app, which is indeed the camera app. Going into it, the Mi 10 Ultra was slightly faster in opening it up. It was slightly quicker in flipping to the selfie cam due to the lack of a pop-up selfie cam and it was too close to call when taking the actual snap going into the actual gallery it was too close to call once more but the Mi 10 ultra opened up the photo slightly quicker over there going into our next system app here which is indeed calculator once again it was too close to call and the next system app that we have after calculator is indeed the phone app and jumping into it the same apps on both devices though the Mi 10 ultra pulls ahead there now with its fourth point in round two as opposed to zero on the k30 ultra it was too close to call when going into the settings app and going into speed check and internet speed test the Mi 10 Ultra was once again faster over here. Now we're going to test out not so much download upload rate of the internet speed test here but actually how long it takes to run. 22.5 seconds for the K30 Ultra as opposed to 23.5 seconds on the Mi 10 Ultra getting the K30 Ultra its first point in round two. The next app that we have over here is also indeed a non-system application being a music streaming app called Spotify. I'm sure you guys have heard of it before. Going into it the Mi 10 Ultra was slightly faster than the K30 Ultra over here but bear in mind the K30 Ultra is not doing a bad job over here considering it is a third of the price of the Mi 10 Ultra. Going into Photoshop Express, once again the Mi 10 Ultra was fast over there. Going into the actual picture, it was too close to call. Now we're going to go ahead and save it to gallery and the UFS 3.1 storage was slightly faster when saving it to gallery compared to the K30 Ultra, giving the Mi 10 Ultra its eighth point. Now ninth point in round two after opening up Adobe Clip. Since Adobe Rush doesn't actually work on the Redmi K30 Ultra, on the actually on the Dimensity 1000 Plus chip, it doesn't work on any other Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset, but the K30 Ultra seems to really like Adobe Clip doing it in 8 seconds, and the Snapdragon 865 doesn't seem to be too optimized with the older Adobe software for mobile devices. Adobe Clip getting it in a crazy long 28 seconds over there compared to the K30 Ultra. Very impressive for the K30 Ultra over there, though it seems like the Xiaomi was not too optimized for it. Going into Astral VPN there, the K30 Ultra was quicker, and going into the first social media app one of the reasons why we need a VPN here in China the K30 Ultra was quicker there going into Instagram it was too close to call and the next social media app that we have here is indeed Twitter, which the Mi 10 Ultra opens up slightly faster. Now with 11 points on the Mi 10 Ultra as opposed to four on the K30 Ultra, which one can get into it quicker? It is indeed allocated to the Mi 10 Ultra now with triple D points as opposed to the cheaper little brother, the K30 Ultra. And going into my profile here, however, it is very close though. The K30 Ultra does indeed open the page and load it slightly faster than the Mi 10 Ultra, getting at its fifth point in round two. Now just seven points behind the more expensive 
expensive Big Brother Mi 10 Ultra, we're going to jump into one of my videos over here. Make sure that you check out all these videos after this one. Going into it, the K30 Ultra loaded the entire page quicker, even though they started playing the video at a relatively similar time over there. So the K30 Ultra is now just half the points of the Mi 10 Ultra with six points as opposed to 12. We're going to close up the video over here and jump into our next application, which will indeed be Netflix. And going into Netflix, which one can get to it quicker? Surprise, surprise, the K30 Ultra does it quicker. And going into my profile over here, once again, the K30 Ultra, now getting it its eight points as opposed to 12 on the Mi 10 Ultra, just four points behind. Now it's really starting to pick up. Going into Google Chrome, though it was too close to call one of them, they were, they're all pretty much loaded things up at different times, but the end result was the same time, so no point was allocated. First game over here being Subway Surface, really impressive here, I would say. K30 Ultra gets it, opening up a game quicker than a phone that is triple the price. So now just three points behind the K30 Ultra has nine points now going into our second game, which is indeed flip diving. Unfortunately, the Mi 10 Ultra, I say unfortunately, because most of you guys like to vote for the underdog over here, but they're both Xiaomi devices. They're both amazing devices when opening up apps. In terms of performance, we'll get to the RAM management issue a little bit later. Next game, Temple Run to the Mi 10 Ultra, once again, open up quicker than the K30 Ultra. Now 14 points as opposed to the nine on the K30 Ultra. And the last game over here, the last app of 20 being PUBG Mobile, the new version, the new era version that is going into it a little bit longer to load than previous PUBG versions. 19 seconds on the K30 Ultra, slightly faster than the 20.5 seconds on the Mi 10 Ultra. It's a mouthful to say all these names, guys, but 10 points for the K30 Ultra as opposed to 14, wrapping up round two over there in terms of speed. Now let's get to the terrible RAM management of Xiaomi. These are indeed both a Xiaomi devices. Redmi is the sister company or pretty much child company of Xiaomi. Xiaomi is the parent company. So their RAM management is not the best since they're running pretty much the exact same software, MIUI 12 over here. So far, no points because if they both kill an app, no points is allocated. If they both keep it open, no points is allocated. So far, they have killed the same amount of apps and they've kept the same amount of apps open. I've made sure to turn all battery optimizations off on both devices over here, but the RAM management on Xiaomi devices has always been poor. I really hope that they hear me and improve this going forward because this is probably the biggest downfall of Xiaomi devices. They both killed YouTube over there. Going into Netflix, once again, they killed that too, and they had no problem killing a simple app such as Google Chrome as well. Remember, we do have eight gigs of RAM on the Xiaomi and six gigs on the Redmi, but like I said before, it's about the speed of the RAM and not necessarily about the actual RAM capacity. But in this case, it's about poor RAM management and optimizations, though we do have LPDDR5 RAM on the Xiaomi as opposed to LPDDR4X RAM on the K30 Ultra. The Xiaomi actually kept PUBG open there, getting it its first and only points in round three. Total score 10 points for the K30 Ultra as opposed to 18 for the Mi 10 Ultra. Not a big difference in terms of raw speed, which is indeed round two, 14 points for the Mi 10 Ultra as opposed to 10 for the K30 Ultra. Mi 10 Ultra is a much more expensive phone with a better chipset. The one thing that you have to bear in mind though is the Mi 10 Ultra has a much better camera system. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.